Car pulls up. The killer gets Kelly's body out of the vehicle. What happens next? Starts to drag her in this way, and we know that they went this way because there's blood transfer on this post right here. Kelly Brennan's blood was right on this very post. Probably from transfer as she was drugged by her or as she pulled out of the car. But there was transfer on this post, and then the killer from there started down this path with her. Carrying the body or dragging the body? We believe dragging the body. Based on the blood that was on the ground and in the grass, uh, it looks like she was probably pulled by her feet. They came back up into this area and then turned this way at about a 45 degree angle right back there into these palmetto scrubs. Kelly Brennan's body was found right here. Now, when they came upon Kelly's body, what did they see? How was she positioned? She was back here where she couldn't be seen from out there. Her head was laying this way. Her body came out with her legs spread out here. She was clad in a uh, runner's attire. You know of Kelly's injuries. What was done to that woman? Most of the injuries are, are directed direct at her head. Um, very brutal beating, uh, 12 to 14 wounds probably total on her head. Uh, the right side, for the most part, above her ear has been bashed in. It was a vicious, brutal attack. A rage killing. Yes. Generally, when you see something directed right at the head in the face of a victim, there's some personal contact there that, and some, some kind of, uh, of a thing that the person wants to get vengeance on that person. They feel a direct hatred to them. And the more strikes that you see a lot of times, that's a blitz, a frenzy attack. Um, there's a lot of emotion in that. 